When it all started, I thought it would be easy. Some days I can't get out of my head. That's just the dark side of me. Ah. Some nights it's hard for me to fall to see. But then life hit That's me like never before. Three MRIs, three CT scans, three ultrasounds, medications, endoscopy, surgeries. You will find out that we're both the same. I went from living on top of the world, controlling everything in my life, to grabbing onto my dad's arm, barely being able to breathe. Oh, but don't worry, that won't stop me. I'm just writing more of my story. I am not afraid, I am not afraid. Sick of the oppression and all the hate. Money and the power, all social rain. Lot of pride now, not enough loyalty. Had to change my life for the better things. Had to boss up and overcome adversity. I put my brother in position. I know some didn't see the vision. I'm just living by tradition and I die for my respect. This is Dr. Bashir. He is the founder of Ocean here in North Miami. Today, well, today is day one of Brendan Myers 2.0. So Brendan has a couple injuries in his low back at his L4, L5, and his L5, S1 disc. You can see that the disc has herniated and extruded a bit, meaning it's gone down from the level of the disc down into the space where the cord runs. That's the low back. Stem cell procedure, shoulder, why he's here, why he wants to get out on the beach doing the things he does, the crazy stuff on the pull-up bars he does in the videos. AC joint ton of fluid in the AC joint. He has a little bit of a labral injury, some rotator cuff injuries. Get him tuned up, get him back in line, get him doing all the things he loves to do. Get people on YouTube saying, wow, that guy's freaking awesome. Four and a half months ago, I injured my shoulder doing a trick on the bars. I wasn't warmed up. There was a big crowd and I felt the adrenaline rush kick through my body. Then one week after that, I fell on my bike on the way to the gym. I guess you could say playing high school and college football takes a toll on the body many years to come. Fast forward four months of rehab, medical procedures, imaging for medical issues, and countless doctor visits. I get a call saying I may have what is called quadra equina, a syndrome that can cause paralysis and loss of bladder or bowel control. I am rushed to get an MRI. I have two severe herniated discs. Then I am told to get another MRI of my shoulder, torn labrum, rotator cuff, AC joint, then sinus surgery. <laughs> Boy, I expected a ride, but not something like this. I've seen four shoulder surgeons, a neurosurgeon, and spine surgeon. Half of these guys said I would never be able to do what I used to ever again. I don't believe that, and neither does Dr. Bashir. We are starting off with the bone marrow withdrawal. From here, they will spin my blood to get the stem cells. This is 90 cc's of bone marrow concentrate. Gonna go spin this down, isolate them out, put them all through his shoulder, regenerate, recuperate, re enliven, strengthen. Dr. Bashir from OCI will place a nerve block on my brachial plexus so that my nerves are not compromised during the procedure. My arm will be completely dead. Next is my spine. I won't lie, I'm very hesitant about this, but I trust my doctor and his abilities. Over the next three months, I will go through grueling rehab. This regenerative medicine will kick in full force and I will work my ass off to become better than I ever have. Particular portion of his biceps, and it's torn because it's taking a ton of cells. So it's, I do a lot of like tune up as I go through. I mean, my take on this whole regenerative medicine field is, you know, you want to treat the acute injury and you want to treat like every fascial connection around it. Life will always challenge you. God will always test you. But it is when the darkness is the darkest and the world seems to be crashing down on you is when the thoughts of light need to shine the brightest. So if you're wondering where I am, I am here writing my story in Florida, alone, in pain, but with the strongest motherfucking attitude you will ever come by. My vision, allergic reactions, surgeries, medications, breathing issues, injuries or pains can't take my passion away. It can't take my drive or goals away. So welcome to day one, where you witness the transformation of Brennan Myers 2.0. So we are 
here with Dr. Bashir from Oceon. Is it North Miami or is it South Hollywood? It's Aventura. Aventura. Yeah. Anyways, I put full trust in my doctors and when I specifically sought out, you know, someone that does stem cell and PRP, I decided, hey, you know, I'm gonna do my research, number one. I'm going to talk to like five or six different doctors or physician assistants that should not be actually doing this. Um, and I found out about this guy. And I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, someone that says, hey, I'm gonna get you better, and then backs it up with, you know, testimonials and, and really doing it for other people and showing and explaining and taking the time to call me and all those different things, that means a heck of a lot to me. So I do appreciate that. No problem, and that's man. why we're it's here. My pleasure. He's yeah, a friendly guy. Yeah, yeah. Made me laugh a couple times. <laughs> it was good. So um, just explain the procedure, kind of what you did, the bone marrow. You know, pretty sure. short for the no problem. <laughs> so we're the Regenix provider here in South Florida. So what we did was we did a bone marrow aspiration. We isolated out the progenitor cells, and then using Regenix technology, we got the stem cells, the okay. progenitor cells from the bone marrow, mixed those with growth factors, signaling molecules from his blood, and then used those in combination to reconstruct his shoulder. His shoulder was messed up, way messed up. This guy has been doing all kinds of stuff on that shoulder for all kinds of time. Mm -hmm. His rotator cuff was torn, his infraspinatus tendon, his supraspinatus tendon, his biceps tendon was severely torn. That was the major injury we saw. The intraarticular portion of the biceps, when the biceps tendon goes in, it's your biceps, when it comes into the shoulder, that area was severely torn okay. in Brendan. So and what we did is we put a, mo a lot of the cells and the growth factors there under ultrasound guidance. Cool. So, so the, you did the stem cell uh, with PRP, and then the what was the last part that you put in there as well? The, just the it was the, the PRP mixed with cells when into okay. the biceps. Tendon. Okay. We always and then mix he, the cells with the PRP. Right. And then he did some injections, uh, so not as intense as a shoulder into my spine. Explain that yeah, a little th bit. This was like, Brent, Brendan came in, we were talking, cool guy, I was like, let me help him out. He's 25, I want to keep him you know, doing everything he wants to do for as long as possible. In his low back, the L4, L5, and L5 S1 discs, the discs in the lowest part of his back, uh, back are having problems. They're herniating, they're tearing a little bit. So what we did is we took some blood, we spun it, made platelet lysate material, burst it open, the platelets in the blood, got the molecules free in solution, and literally injected particles, molecules, around his injured nerves and discs to help to regenerate his disc. This was just me saying, hey man, you're gonna work with me, let me do my best to get you absolutely yeah. the best we can do, get you back on the, doing, doing everything you wanna do. Yeah, no, and I definitely appreciate it. So basically, you know, in full, he did the bone marrow, stem cell PRP in the shoulder, I have a lot of injuries there. It's mainly from the crazy things that I do, crazy trying things. to like, you know, impress the world and, and get people motivated, which I do that for everyone that's on the opposite side of the camera, obviously the people that are watching you. Um, and that's just like coming from passion and heart, you know, just like him, he wants to heal everyone else. So he, spe he spends hours and hours and hours and hours and hours doing that. And it might even hurt his own health because he's working so hard to heal other people. So, you know, I, I do appreciate it. If you wanna check him out, if you wanna check out this specific, would you, could, uh, would you call it a clinic or? This is a regenerative medicine practice. This is our clinic, yep. Oceon Interventional Regenerative Medicine. We're the Regenex provider here in South Florida. We spend all of our time just doing the best to advance this field. It's really amazing. Human beings are unlocking the mysteries of healing. We're figuring out how our bodies heal themselves. Yep. We're figuring out how to get the stem cells from our own bodies, mix them with the growth factors, and literally regenerate tissue. So I love what I do. I love helping people and just really, really, really thankful to work with Brendan. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. He's man. been cool. Yeah, I appreciate it. So if you want to check out where his specific clinic is and his uh, office and everything where he does the procedures, go ahead and check the description. Also, if you want to check out who has been filming all of this, it's your boy Richie behind the camera. That's my man and he's going to be my man for a long, long time. So thanks for tuning in. Sorry I haven't been on YouTube for a while. A lot of things have been happening as you can see from the video, but we're on track to a great process and a great healing and you know, I'm going to be stronger than ever. So thank you and uh, we'll talk soon. Peace.